Hey, it's Leisha here, and I just wanted to film a video about how you don't actually need to know what created your healing in order to recreate it. And what I mean by that is, you know, let's say you've had some sort of illness or problem showing up in your life before, and you moved through that, you dissolved those energies, and let's say another problem shows up in your life, and you want to know how you did it before so that you can do it again. And the truth is you don't actually need to know that um, because what your body needs in every moment is different and what each person needs is also different. So that's another reason that you know you also don't need to know what it is in order to share that with another person. And you know this I wanted to film this video because I have known on some level that you know I've been through everything that I've been through gone through this wonderful journey to share this with other people. And so I used to think that I felt like I needed to document or like know exactly what type of healing modality worked, what didn't work, so that I can share this with other people and that they can benefit from it. And in case I ever went through the same sort of thing again. So then I would try to like not try more than one thing at once. Like if I was seeing a certain doctor, a certain practitioner, trying a certain type of healing modality, I didn't want to like try more than one at once um, because I wanted to know what was the thing that helped me? What was the thing that, you know, created my healing? But the truth is that that that's not important what the type of modality was, which doctor it was, which practitioner it was. Even though I could say to the whole world that I think they should see like my mentor, Dr. Kim DeRamo, because she's freaking amazing and she's super intuitive, can scan your body and know what's like keeping you stuck in your health and well-being and she's amazing. But you know what everybody needs is different. And also someone might, might not be ready for that. Like if you're not choosing more for yourself, then you're not ready for the type of expansion that you could have working with a practitioner like that. So um, it doesn't matter if I told you exactly which practitioner I went to, exactly which program I did, which healing modality, which types of meditation. It's wonderful information to share. But what your body needs is unique for every person and um, the only way to really know what that is is to tune into the wisdom of your own body so um you know there's a, a reason why that issue is showing up in your life in the first place the dis-ease the discomfort whatever it is it's your body trying to get your attention that there's something that it needs so it has the wisdom it knows what it needs and it's trying to tell you and communicate with you in the only way it knows how so in order to create healing, it really just involves tuning into your body and inviting the wisdom within and inviting your body to heal itself, to have those synchronicities to show up. Sometimes you don't even need the synchronicities to show up. Sometimes you don't need to work with anyone. Sometimes all your body needs is your awareness and your attention because that's all it's trying to do is get your attention. Sometimes something more is needed. But the point is all the answers are within you and what each person needs is gonna be different and even maybe what you needed before is not what you're going to need now. So even if you did remember and you did know that it was this doctor that you went to and it was this supplement that you took or this diet that you did or whatever, maybe that's not what your body needs the second time around, even if it's the same illness showing up in the same way. It could, your body could need something completely different. So you don't really need to know what it was in order to recreate it. All you need to know is how to access that wisdom of your body. And how you do that is by tuning in more often, more often. So more presence, more slowing down, more relaxation. Because when you do that, when you just relax your shoulders, breathe more fully into your belly, already you've come into a higher state of consciousness where the solution can exist. Because the solution can't exist in the same state of consciousness that the problem got created, the same state of consciousness that you're in. And that's where a lot of people go about it. They try to overcome, achieve, work really hard to overcome their illness or disease or inadequacy or whatever they're feeling in the same state of consciousness that they're in. So they don't see like a quantum shift, true healing, permanent healing. They don't see that when they're trying to go about it in the same state of consciousness that they're in. It really requires coming into a higher state of consciousness. And how do you get there? More willingness to be exactly where you are. More presence right where you are. 
relax, slow down, and be here, more present, right here, right now. And that's going to bring you into a higher state of consciousness where you can access that wisdom, access that higher wisdom, synchronicities will show up in your life, and you'll receive the healing that's going to create the most for you, which is going to be unique for, for each individual person. So yeah, I just wanted to film a video on that. I hope you found this video helpful. So if you have, you know, gone through something similar and you really want to share your experience with other people, um, just try not to like shove it down their throats and be like, well, this really, really worked for me. So you should really see this practitioner. You should really try this healing modality or whatever, because you know what? Not everything resonates with everybody. What everybody needs is different. Um, and that person has all the wisdom, all the infinite resources to invite that in for themselves. So it's about um, getting them to access that wisdom within themselves that's really going to create the most for them, not by telling them what to do, try this, try that, trying to give advice. That's really not going to create the most for them, actually. So with every video that I film for you, these are all the things that have helped me, the things that create true healing, that create a quantum shift, that will work for everyone because everything I'm sharing really is a way to tune into that wisdom in your body. But of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Whatever your body needs could be different than what I needed when I went through this or what someone else needs. So yeah, I always say that. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and move through any emotional triggers that um, come up for you as well when someone tries to tell you what to do, someone tries to help you heal. That happens a lot too where people are like, oh, it's easy, like just get over it. Like, um, you know, if you have like low self-worth, for example, people will be like, just love yourself. Why don't you love yourself? You're awesome. Um, and they try to make it seem so easy and that could trigger something in you. And that's just another invitation to presence what's coming up for you to allow the energy to, to dissolve and to come into a higher state of consciousness where, where the solution exists or where the energy just dissolves and there is no problem anymore. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.